I'm Paul Hanson. I'm a professor in the economics department. I'm also head of department. And uh, the other thing I do and have been doing for 20 odd years is I'm a co-founder of 1000 Minds, which is a software company to help people with decision making. Today, um, the World Health Organization announced that it was a global emergency with respect to the um, coronavirus from Wuhan that's been um, on everyone's minds the last couple of weeks. I wrote to the, some people I know at the WHO because of work that I've done with them in the past using a thousand minds and said, you know, you, you guys are going to have some pretty hard and serious decisions to make. We're available if you need help with our tools. So, I mean, that's a classic example. We didn't do that for commercial reasons. We did that, well, I wrote to them because I want to try and um, well, contribute to what's obviously a pretty serious issue at the moment facing the world. And so that's a big part of what motivates what we're trying to achieve with a thousand minds. We want to be commercially successful because we can't survive otherwise, but we want to do good. We want to make the world better. A thousand minds and tools like a thousand minds work by um, using criteria to choose between the alternatives based on some weights that reflect the preferences um, of the decision makers, how they feel about the relative importance of the criteria. Any decision such as uh, who to hire for a job or who to give an operation to or what to do about a, um, a virus uh, epidemic, how do you rank alternatives when you've got multiple criteria and you want weights to reflect the preferences of the decision makers. A Thousand Minds takes those four parts and produces basically a ranking or a prioritisation or supports a choice for decision makers. A common reaction would be, how does the software know that? Has it read our minds or has it read my mind? And it kind of has actually. It's, it's, it's been interrogating, if you like, the person and from their answers it's codifying their preferences. It shows to me what's possible when you get, a, get the right people working together on an important problem, what you can achieve. Not just the people directly involved in A Thousand Minds, but also you know, lots of other people around Dunedin and other parts of New Zealand and the world. Choices are the hinges of destiny. What is human civilization and everything it is that it is to be a human but making a series of decisions? This has been such a wonderful experience. You know, I'm an academic, but also I'm a founder of a successful business and I get to work with really great colleagues in a thousand minds. And to be part of that for me personally has just been the greatest thing in my life.